To let you get to know the team a little bit better, they were asked a series of questions. And here are their responses. First off, what is the most interesting piece of assistive technology that you have worked with? Personally speaking, I just think that anything that can help identify different objects and things for folks with vision impairments, that gets me really excited. I think that AAC is so important and is really interesting the different ways that you can set up augmentative communication. So I'm really excited about our new partnership with Origami to help people access um, communication devices. In the last two or three years, Google and a lot of a lot of the big tech companies have started using artificial intelligence models for. Uh, for language, and I'm sure that that's going to make it much easier for people with accents to make use of the technology. We recently received training on a new product that we have in our inventory called the OrCam, and the OrCam is a device um, that you wear uh, like a pair of glasses that's able to help people with visual disabilities. Um, it has a lot of different features in the way that you can use it. Really kind of cutting edge new technology. Many apps that I could use on my iPad, I got help with this from AT&T. I would probably just say a category. Um, so gaming AT is really cool and interesting. Um, the fact that you can do so many things to a controller to make it accessible. And the um, people that create the games, um, the specific games <laughs> that they are doing things to make those games accessible. So I haven't worked with this one yet, but I would say the OrCam. Um, I'm very intrigued and I'm looking forward to learning more about it. I would have to say the automatic uh, range finder that goes on to a crossbow. Um, I haven't really got to the ins and outs of it yet, but it seems pretty interesting. I think um, since starting here, I really love the AT for youth that we have, or bouncy bands so they can, you know, move their legs while they're learning. Um, they didn't have that when I was a kid, and I wish they had. Um, I love how um, people think outside the box to help kids learn. would probably have to be one of two, either the OrCam, which is a device that helps people with low vision be able to identify things, so it is like a pair of glasses just like mine and it has a little device on the side of the glasses that connects magnetically. And I also find the adaptive gaming controllers we have very interesting. Next, do you have an Alexa device? And if so, what do you use it for? I have Alexa wired throughout my whole entire house. <laughs> I probably have too many Alexas. Probably my favorite thing to do throughout the house is listen to music. Um, my favorite Alexa controlled device right now is my microwave. I like to be able to um, throw something in there and as I'm walking away have Alexa um, run the microwave. Um, and my favorite Alexa command actually right now is Alexa play shed a little light. I do use Alexa. We use it uh, mostly for lights around the house. Um, when you forget to turn one off and, and then you go to bed and turn off the lights and suddenly you can see a light that's going to shine all night. The other nice thing about it is is that it allows us to turn on lights on and off at specific times when we're on vacation. I use Alexa every day and uh, my favorite Alexa device is actually the Amazon um, Alexa Fire Cube that works with your TV. So I like it because um, I always lose or drop the remote to my TV, and this allows me to use my voice to control the TV. Uh, I don't have an Alexa, but sometimes I use my mom's Alexa, and they like to listen, listen to music on it. I do use, yes, I use Alexa um, right now. We have our Echo Show at home. That would probably be my favorite device other than like the dots and the, um, because of Alexa Show, we have like our um, pictures are on the screen. Um, <laughs> we play different games as a family on our Alexa device. Yeah, we like our Alexa. That would be my Alexa Echo Show, I think is what it's called. The 
Um, but it's amazing and I love it. There's so many things that you can do. Like it's, it's wild. I do not use Alexa. Yeah, we do have an Echo Dot. Um, I'm kind of a, still kind of a Luddite with that stuff. I just really tell it to like, you know, go to HBO or play Amazon Music or play my favorite artists while I'm in the kitchen. Um, but we do have an Alexa device. I do have an Alexa device. I actually have multiple. Um, I have an Echo Show. I also have a Fire TV device, an Echo Speaker, and an Echo Dot. So I really use all of them um, frequently. Mostly what I use them for is just asking quick questions. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for part four.